Previously on AG and P. We have a car and we have a parts. Where do we even start, bro? The Golf is going stage two with the IS20 with the GTI fuel pump. And here we have a Catless downpipe from CTS, turbo blanket, coil pack, spark plugs. <laughs> Some 10 mils. Oh, why is the wires tripping on the Zanny? Faced a little problem. That easy? Fuck a tool, dude. Oh, there she blows. Gonna get this line out. Get this pipe out. I think it's on fire, guys. What do we do? Back it off the studs. I don't know. Oh, nice. Pull out game strong. Sweet. So right here we've got the two turbos, size 12, and then the 20 here. So I'm gonna swap the turbo mufflers over. I got the forged turbo muffler delete, forged blow off valve, which is right there. Um, I took this off because it's actually loose. So this is the stock spring in it, and then I got a blue spring right here. So turbo muffler delete. Now we're trying to get the blow off valve out. We just strip the bolt. But we also just got the O2 sensor out. So now we're just gonna get the blow off valve off, and then it should be ready once we swap it. All right. Strip bolt out. <laughs> strip bolt out. Let's make sure we don't strip them again. So everything swapped over except for this. This is actually stuck. Might have broke it here. I didn't film it, but we just got the bastard out. I used um a pick, picked at the bottom, pulled it out, and then I used a flathead bit and literally just screw jabbed it out. Yeah, we're gonna put it on the new one. Yes, man. You remember seeing this cute ass motherfucker? Put my tires on. When you're doing this install, you definitely want to get the install kit. It gives you all new bolts and things. This was rotted in there. That's why it didn't come out. Also recommend grabbing one of these brushes here. Just go ahead and brush these out. So we're going to put this new grommet in on this thing here. Where does it go? Okay, right here. Easy enough. Pretty simple. That thing's tiny. Now we're going to put the big boy in. I never... It's good, right? Now she's all ready to go back in. You all ready? Ready. I guess She's not. Ready. Fuck. She's ready. As you see, we got the forged turbo Seven blanket on. I think it's easier to leave it on when, when installing, because then, you know, like, it's gonna move these out of the way, which won't be hard, but it'd just be easier to install it off the car than on the car, so. And I think this is the right way to do the actuator. I don't want to mess up the actuator by putting it here, so. And then actually that bolt will hold that down. She's looking good. Let's unplug her. Ooh! 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 You're just in the B-roll shots. Oh shit! No, I'm kidding. Something grabbed you in there? Definitely looks like we're gonna go on to day three, but we should be finished by tomorrow at least. Trouble will be in by today. Gasket goes in like this. Look how shiny that looks. It looks so good with my intake. That is currently nowhere to be found in there. Look at that pretty dime piece, man. Oh, we gotta... Okay. Oh, shit. That goes there to there. So, since the turbo is on now, we don't need a clearance. We're gonna go ahead and put the coil packs on, just so the holes are capped up. And we're gonna see how they look, so... Yeah. It's real dark now. Turbo mountain brackets getting in. We're gonna get it all the way on to the block, and then we're gonna get the last coolant line on, and then that's it for the turbo. Turbo elbow, we need to get the coolant line back on up here. So we're just getting some nicks and crannies in there. And dude, can you guys shut the fuck up? All right, what time is it? So we are closing up tonight. Turbo is in, oil return line is in. Tomorrow we're gonna do the fuel pump, charge pipe, down pipe, and then put everything on it, and then tune it. Approximately 10 hours later. Alrighty, day two, actually day three. All we've got now is the high pressure fuel pump, down pipe, and the charge pipes. We're gonna start by taking this off. Got that out with minimal secretion of gasoline. Shake a little out maybe. Just pulled this line from the bottom here. So now she's all ready to come out with these three bolts. After much struggle, got it off. Here are both full plops stock. This is the new one, way bigger. Was this like flipped upside down? What's going on? So we're gonna replace the roller right here, the can roller. We gotta take this off anyway, so we're gonna place the seal. 14 bucks for that right there. You just have to take these bolts off here, pull this fuel pump off, and then it'll come right out. Look at the little boy. Cam roller. I'm gonna carefully swap these. Oh, you see that little rivet right there? 
so, just like, like so. All right, already, let's figure out how she goes back on. Go ahead and reattach this shit. You gotta make sure you align that, and then you should be good. I think while we have this out, I'm gonna put the charge pipe on. Get a nice clearance without the fuel pump there. So just shimmy this on. The turbo outlet pipe from ECS, nice. I'm not gonna tighten it yet, but I'm gonna put actually the fuel pump on, because. I want to see where this goes. So there's a tiny tear in that. I don't know if you can see it right here. So I'm going to cut it off and then use more of the line. Snipped. Okay, now we got to figure out this shit. It goes right there, I believe. Oh, yeah, just like that, actually. Perfect. All right, so we're piecing her together. Funny thing about this, so I actually have a twinner cooler. And with the twinner cooler, you get this new pipe. You know, we have this, so that's going to go, like, five inches in that. As I said, this is too long on the, on the end, so I'm gonna cut maybe that much. I still wanted that Forge logo. Looks jank, but it's right on the line, so we're good. Not the cleanest cut, but my knife wasn't that sharp, so. But it doesn't matter, actually, because this thing has to go really far, like, literally about that far. It is somehow in, I think, we hope. We're gonna tighten it all up and make sure it's all goody. So that one left, and this one, I believe, but it's already tight. Yeah, it's already in place. I think we made it, boys. Last bolt. Oh, shit, let's not drop it. I already bolted that bracket in. I might do it more. Yeah, we're pour good. some of that. Out there, but please give me some gasolino. I'm gonna be honest. I like everything like this and stuff, but I really don't like these clamps. Can't feel how tight they are. It's really weird. Like the ones that come with the forge are so easy. We think this is tight. Looks tight. We hope it's tight. But like you can keep tightening it. So that's a huge bolt, bro. Is the intake gonna fit? We're almost there, boys. Downpipe is the next step. All right, boys. It is. Downpipe time. We have everything in. Only thing that is missing is intake and the blow valve. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go from the tail side of the pipe side. Make sure you get the old what gasket is, out of the turbo. Put the, the new one in. Where's this guy? He's down there. Yeah, right there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's feeding. Oh, he's it coming up. through. Billy's coming through. <laughs> oh, such a good view. <laughs> uh, How you doing, Gap? How we doing? This is the next. Up. Every bolt is in. Damn, that looks good, man. We're just struggling with the mid pipe. Damn, we got boxes on. <laughs> Next thing is we're gonna put it down. Blow off valve intake. We also got to put the cool in. Then we also got to do some oil on the turbo. Might as well knock out this thing. So if you didn't watch the install of this already, I'll link it in the description. But I'm just gonna bolt it up right there. Then connect the lines. I forget which one goes where, so I'm gonna figure that out. So we had to put this on, but hole got really big. So we have to do this. I literally have to use this clamp here and get this bolt in like that. And then we're gonna screw it in and then hope for the absolute best. Come on, bro. It's almost there. How was that? How was that? How'd you get that up? Shits are sore as fuck. I think. Oh my god, bro, it fell off. What happened? The clamp fucked up bad. So we're gonna put the intake on. Damn, shoddy. Yeah. So I pulled the this back, pull the line, this cool line put back. Everything should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and. If we have some extra, we should pour this in a styrofoam cup and put some ice. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, this will help. This smells like good, dude. Like if someone put this in a glass, I'd actually probably drink it. It's gonna keep going around when we start it. So that's all we're gonna do for now. Let's put her down. Now what are you doing? I'm putting the shield on. All right, we got the air intake back on. And now all we're waiting to do is bolt up the splash guard and crank some oil into that bad boy. We're pouring oil into the oil feed line. And then when we crank it up, it's gonna spin the oil around. Are you gonna watch it? Watch it, see if like, it's just starting. This is that good Wait, stuff. Stop, stop, stop. We got that liquid molly. It overfilled a lot. Finally tightening down the oil feed line. Should be good. The gray one has the red wire. The black one doesn't have the red wire. Oh yeah? Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, bro. Sweet. It's finally yeah. tune time. Open up the box. Everything's on, right? If the tune's not on here, I might. In my life. I'll go ahead and click tuning. Checking the tuning file, please wait. Reflect tuning. Continue with the writing of the file. IS20 GTI. P&D. Probably peanut butter and jelly. Oh no, just peanut butter. I got gas, I might need some gas soon. Preparing to write. Rod. Rod, Rod got gas. Mm -hmm. Not the coal packs. Erasing flash memory. Trans yeah, in emergency mode. <laughs> writing in progress, do not interrupt. All right, 
Should we just hop in the pool? All right. Wait, how long does it take? It takes about 20 minutes, it says. You gotta wash your hands. We tuned the car. It's like been tuning for like 30 minutes. Almost there. Dude, just the fucking tip, dude. Let's connect this down here. Yeah. yeah. It's all done. We don't know if there's any problems, but we're done. So I guess we're gonna crank it. Wait a few seconds. Look at that beautiful thing, man. Eh? The turbo looks so good. I don't know, whatever that is. Oh, you're using a wrench? Now we're getting ready to spark this hoe. First start, the thing is open. Sounds kind of um, in the car. But we've like just been bleeding it, so we're gonna yeah. go for a drive. It sounds, you know, drivable. It nothing's leaking or anything, but we're gonna go see, I guess. You might have a tiny leak. No, for sure. Engine? For sure. <laughs> I mean, exhaust? Sounds pretty normal to me. Sounds <laughs> fucking insane. You bring that home to your mom, she'd be like, what the fuck? So we keep getting the EPC, so I just emailed my tuner, see what he says tomorrow. We're gonna get the exhaust leak fixed tomorrow. We'll tune back in, talk to y'all later. Damn, I'm fucking sweating. Yeah. Jeez. Dude, that sounds 